invite you to close your eyes and listen to a few seconds of this piece, focusing on the emotions that come to mind. Tchaikovsky's Sixth Symphony. Known for his triumphant works, this piece stands out as a dark stain on the composer's history, possibly holding the answers to his mysterious death. Hi, my name is Kinsey Overdeer, and today I'll be leading you through the life of composer Tchaikovsky. Classical music provides us a window into the evolution of music. Understanding why it was written helps us to appreciate where the music we love today came from. In addition to my research on Tchaikovsky, I've had the opportunity to perform a number of his pieces, giving me the authority to share this information with you. By exploring Tchaikovsky's final symphony, his mental health struggles, and mysterious death, I hope to give you a glimpse into the depth and complexity of classical music. In our exploration of Tchaikovsky, we're going to start with something called dynamics, which describe volume in music. The letter P stands for piano, meaning quiet, and the letter F, forte, meaning loud. The more you have of each letter, the more dramatic the volume levels. Now, let's examine the dynamics in the finales of Tchaikovsky's first five symphonies. As you can see, there is a trend of overall loudness, a trademark of Tchaikovsky's conclusions. However, there is a distinct difference in the volume of his final composition. As you can see, the piece ends in near silence. Timothy Judd, professional violinist, states about the piece, gone is the journey towards transcendence we hear in Tchaikovsky's previous symphonies. This utterly hopeless ending was so uncharacteristic for Tchaikovsky, but it may have been a manifestation of his mental health struggles. Tchaikovsky's years were marked by psychological issues. In a heartbreaking letter to his nephew, the composer stated, there are days, hours, weeks, and months in which everything looks black, when I am tormented by the thought that no one cares for me. In addition to his depression, Tchaikovsky was struggling with his sexuality. He was a gay man living in a country where homosexuality was punishable by exile to Siberia, a frozen wasteland near the Arctic Circle. Despite his sexuality, Tchaikovsky married a woman, likely to maintain his secret. According to a biography by the Gulf Coast Symphony, the marriage was a catastrophe and led to a nervous breakdown where the composer attempted to take his own life. Tchaikovsky's Sixth Symphony premiered just days before his death. According to official accounts, he died from cholera after drinking tainted water. However, many believe his death was not that simple. While homosexuality was prohibited in 19th century Russia, most turned a blind eye. Thus, Tchaikovsky was able to pursue many meaningful relationships. However, his last relationship may have been what led to his death. According to an issue of the Music Quarterly Journal, Tchaikovsky began, began excuse me, according to an issue of the Music Quarterly Journal, Tchaikovsky became romantically involved with someone close to the Tsar. When their relationship was discovered, he was given a choice, take his own life or his secret would be revealed, ultimately ending his career. Despite this account, some still choose to believe the official story of death by cholera or think that Tchaikovsky's lifelong battle with depression became too much to bear. Whatever the cause of his death, it is evident that Tchaikovsky's struggles manifested themselves in his music. Psychiatrist Richard Kogan states, Tchaikovsky used his music as an outlet to release the torment and despair he felt. Think back to the few seconds of Tchaikovsky's music we heard. Were you able to feel and hear that mental torment as he was struggling with his depression and sexuality? If not, I hope you'd be able to now. The key to understanding classical music lies in comprehending what emotions the composer put into the piece. Aaron Copland, 20th century composer, states, all music has a certain meaning behind the notes, and that constitutes what the piece is saying. So if we understand the emotions Tchaikovsky put into the notes of his Sixth Symphony, we understand what the piece was about. By exploring Tchaikovsky's final symphony, his mental health struggles, and mysterious death, I hope to prove that classical music is far from boring and confusing. The struggles we face today with depression, anxiety, sexuality, and societal pressures are not modern issues. 
People have been feeling this way for centuries, it just simply was not discussed. By opening that discussion, I hope you have discovered a new form of self-expression. After all, understanding classical music does not require any technical training or musical experience, simply an open heart and mind. Thank you.